So our PlayStation 1 backup and burning video did not cover PlayStation 2 games very well. Some games use CDs instead of DVDs, and so discovering this kind of creates little gems like this. So as you can see, it's a DVD, so it says DVDs nuts, and then I drew an angry frog right there, because that's how I felt at the time. So burning PS2 games can be a lot different than burning PS1 games. Because of the variety of games that come on the PS2, there's actually, to my knowledge, three different types of media that they use. They use CDs, DVDs, and dual layer DVDs. Now, I have two games up here that do use a CD and a DVD, and I'll show you some of the differences and what you need to do to actually get these working. Now, I also should go ahead and say that if you want to be able to play backups on your system, uh, you're going to need some way of running these. I am not going to be teaching you how to patch games in here, okay? I am assuming that you have some sort of modified console or system or some method, whether that's like some swap magic or something like that, that you can use to be able to get into that. That is not what I'm teaching you at all today. It is just how to back up your media and put it on these nice little new discs, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open up Image Burn. That's the program that I'm going to be using. There are plenty of other programs that can do this. This is just the one that I like to use. So if we go ahead and we go to Write Image File to Disc, that's what we're going to want to do. Now, you can um, actually create an image file from a disc. This is how you would make a backup of a game that you already own, but if you already have some files on your computer, either you already did this or you um, somehow stumbled across them on the internet, somehow, you know, you might not have to worry about that. So a lot of the times also, if it's a CD game, you're probably going to be finding a bin and queue, which is pretty much the entire way that the PS1 set up. And uh, you'll find an ISO file, generally speaking, for a DVD game. Now, what happens, which this is so, so useful, is if you go ahead and open up, we'll do the CD one first, okay? So for a CD, you'll do the Q file, assuming it isn't a bin and Q, if it's in an uh, ISO, there's only one file you have to worry about. And then it will go ahead and ask me for my disc so I'll put in I'll put in a DVD I'll show you what happens if you do the wrong one for both of them and how to fix that so right here we have a DVD plus R that's what it says book type and current profile it loads up what it wants for that and obviously you can see 4.7 gigabytes right there now if we go ahead and we want to start it up it'll say hey this doesn't look right. Do you want us to convert it? Don't. <laughs> I've tried this before. Your PlayStation will just think it's a weird DVD. You won't ever get the game, okay? You need to use an actual CD. I happen to use uh, CDRs. I don't actually know if there's a like go-to one. I would assume because a lot of people I have heard recommend DVD plus R that you would also want a CD plus R, but I do not know what the best one to go with is. I just know that I'm using Memorex CD-R, and that seems to work pretty well. All right, so I'm gonna eject this DVD, and I'm actually gonna put in the CD for our other game. Now, I haven't actually ever tried this before, mainly because this game is actually larger than the CD, like we will not be fitting this on here. And I assume it'll give us an error message as well, but I don't know for a fact that it will. Here we are, as you can see, knows the CD, knows the CD, we try to burn it, not enough space, and there you go. That's really the gist of how to do this. You try to fit in the game into the disc. If it won't fit, 
you need different kind of disc. That's a good way to guide you on what type of disc you need to use. And again, for PS1, it's all CDs, so it's super simple. For this, you have three different types of stuff going on. It's not too complicated, but you do need to kind of pay attention to it or you're going to be wasting some CDs or DVDs or whatever. And that's it.